G'day kids, it's Mr Bailey with you today, how are you? Ah, oh, good, I'm going to tell you a story about something that happened with me just a couple of weeks ago. I got home from school and I got a big parcel and in the parcel, Mr Wyman, could you just look under there, there's, there's a prop that I need for my kids talk that I've forgotten. Um, thank you Hayley Bailey. I got a box that had this in it. And this is one of my favourite things. It is Lego, and it's not just Lego, it's Star Wars Lego, and I was pretty excited. This that I'm holding is the instruction booklet. And what this is, the good people at Lego, the creators of this, have given me their will on how I am to create this piece of Lego. But you know what I thought? I went, you know what, I know Lego and I know Star Wars. I don't need that. I'm going to try and build it myself, all right? And so I did and I brought it along to show you. And there it is. <laughs> now, um, to be honest, I'm, pr I'm pretty proud of that. I, I'm, I think that's pretty good. But um, it, it doesn't look real similar, does it? I mean, it's pretty small, the cannons aren't even the same, um, it does have windows so the soldiers inside can look out, but I can't, I can't, I can't open it to put the soldiers in, so that doesn't really work. And if, um, this back leg isn't long enough and it, um, it comes off real easy, um, it's, not, it's not real good. Um, I mean, it's pretty good, but it's not right, is it? It's not how the creators willed me to make it, is it? No. And so my, my big boy, Levi, we, we sat down and for three days we went, you know what, we should follow this. And we built it. Do you want to help me reveal it? Do you want to help me with this? There you go. Come on. Ready? Ready? Let's go. Oh, oh. <laughs> now that's a bit better, isn't it? Look at that. That's pretty cool. That looks pretty much like that. And it even shoots. Ready? Let's shoot some kids. Ready? Ready? <laughs> Why can I never get it to work? You can make it work. It's because I've shooted them before. Oh, you've shooted them before. Okay. Well, let's sit back down, mate. Let's be Oh! Got him! Got him! <laughs> That's pretty good, isn't it? Can I have that? Thank you. You're all right? That didn't get you in the eye or anything, did you? No? You're all right. Good man. He's all right. Um, so the whole point of this is to go, let's, let's, let's think about how this is going to link in with our Bible reading today. In our Bible reading today, we're going to hear about some people, Isaac and Rebecca, who knew what God's will was. They were told but they decided to do things their own way. And it, it's got a bit ugly, kind of like um, kind of like that, all right? Now, we know what God's will is. Where do we find God's will? In the Bible. The Bible is God's word, God's will revealed to us, isn't it? Then what's our response? What should we do? Ready? I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to answer faithful obedience. Got that? What is the right response to God's will? Faithful obedience. Faithful obedience. Faithful meaning that we trust God and obedience meaning we're going to do as it says, as live by his will. Cool? Excellent. Let's pray and then I'm going to cover my Lego back up so that people don't get distracted during the sermon. Okay? Let's pray. Hey God. Thank you that we have the Bible, that we can read in it what your will is for us. Please help us to live in faithful obedience to that. In Jesus' name, amen.